What is up YouTube? Dr. Smoke here. Gonna do a quick video. And what is this? I've got a rotisserie for a Daniel Boone. Oh, and another for Daniel Boone, but they're different boxes. You'll find out why soon enough. First things first, we're going to do what Dr. Smoke does. We're going to open it up and we're going to put it in the grill and show you guys how to do it. Put this away for right now. Time to open up this rotisserie shindig for the Danny Boom. All right, let's see what we get in the box. Owner's manual. Start off with this. Open it up. We've got the motor. Seems like they want the extra mile. Get a nice stainless steel housing. That looks pretty nice. Next little box, probably our brackets. Again, seems like really nice quality. So we've got one bracket here. Call for your chicken. Or whatever you decide to put on here. And the bracket. Second claw. And that looks like a weight. Last thing in the box so we can get this away is a rotisserie rod. But first things first, let's get this rotisserie rod together. This particular one's a two piece rod. Seems pretty sturdy. I'm not sure about when we put some weight on it though. Slide on. Close. This is what we're gonna do to grab the meat. Otherwise, the rod would just spin inside of the chicken without the claws. Now we're ready to start with the mounts. You'll notice that they are two different sizes. You want to make sure that the one that has the longer 90 degree bend in it has to go toward the grill chimney side. And that's just going to drop right in bracket built in to the Daniel Boone Prime Plus. Your next bracket goes inside. And then what you want to do is grab the motor, power switch down, and then this is just going to hang right on the side. Next, you've got your spit rod. We've already assembled it. Two claws to hold your chicken or whatever you're putting on here. You're going to stick it in this side first, let it sit on the bracket, and then just slide this in, slide this into the motor mount. Last thing in this kit is if you've got a really heavy chicken on here, or um, you know, something that's going to weigh this, this rod down, they do give you a counterweight 
that will go on this. You just thread it on, and then you want to just counterbalance the weight a little bit to keep the pressure off the rod. And there's another adapter for that. Overall, it looks like a good quality, and I think we should plug it in and at least try it. Turn her on. Motor runs really quiet. I bet you can tell. You can barely even hear it in the cameras. Nice slow spin. Now the same thing, but a longer box. Let's find what they did change on the old design. Ah, so that explains the longer box already. You've got a one-piece rod. So if you guys did not receive a one-piece rod with your rotisserie, you can email GMG and they should be able to send you the one-piece rod because this thing is sturdy, it doesn't bend. It was a good idea to thread and do a two-piece rod in the original, original design, but it just doesn't work out with uh, when you start putting chickens on there, and especially if you've got two. So, good change. Next box. So these are the same. They did put some protective caps on there so you don't stab yourself. Brackets are also the same. Box number two. <clears throat> oh. Okay. There we go. Completely redesigned. Rotisserie motor. A little more industrial. Hmm. We'll have to see what the, the difference in sound is on this one. Next is just a filler piece. that we've got another set of spits. which it looks like they increased the capacity a little bit on these. They do look a little bit bigger. And it does have a longer rod to ride up to counteract that weight. So we've got the new motor here. Turn it on. Just as quiet as the other one. I can't hear, I can't even hear it spinning. Can you? Put this on the side, then we'll put the rod in. And it's running. Rotation seems good. The reason why Dr. Smoke was putting off doing a video on the rotisserie, obviously we knew there were a couple issues with the first design. If you're still using yours and it's working fine, there's no reason to change. Just know that there was a design change in between the manufacturing process and in between them releasing the first and the second. If you guys like these videos, we like your support. Thank you very much. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be doing this. So again, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like and get notifications when we add new videos. Thank you from Dr. Smoke. Hope to hear from you soon. Grill grates. We do have another segment coming up about them. I'm just waiting on a shipment so I can show you exactly when you're looking for these for your Green Mountain Grill. I'm going to make this a lot easier because when you start looking at the website, it's kind of confusing. So I'm going to show you everything. Stay tuned for that.
should have it in the next week or so. 